meters in, 1400 meters, all set. And away they go from the 1400 meter marker. Diamante is on the inside, Brave and Bold is right there, the red cap of Path to Glory between the two, then Call Me Winter, Neptune's Reign is further back, Mark My Card is the yellow sleeves and cap, Awesomeness is on the outside, then if only, Lala's the trailer, 10 lengths off the leader. 1,000 meters to go, Path to Glory leads it, Brave and Bold is second, and Diamante is at the rail. They are followed by Neptune's Reign. Further back is Call Me Winter, then If Only, followed by Mark My Card. They're not sticking around, Mark My Card's about 8 lengths off the leader. Awesomeness is further back with Lala. About to turn into the home stretch, Path to Glory leads it. Brave and Bold and Diamante, further back Call Me Winter, then comes Neptune's Reign on the inside, further back Lala, if only an awesomeness, top of the lane, Path to Glory leads it, Brave and Bold's on the outside, Neptune's Reign goes for a run, Diamante between the two of them, Lala's running on on the stand side, Neptune's Reign hit the front, Lala becomes a big danger on the outside, Neptune's Reign and Lala as they come past the last hundred, Neptune's Reign and Lala, there's nothing in it, Neptune's Reign just leads it from Lala, Neptune's Reign and Lala, but Neptune's Reign will win, Lala second, awesomeness third, if only fourth. Number two, Neptune's Reign, the Antonius Pius, Duncan Owls, Anthony Del Pesh, tote favourite at 210, and they end up winning it by about three parts of a length from number one, Lala. So two wins it, now three wins from nine outings. This one bred by Highlands Farm. Second, number one, Lala. Awesomeness, number seven, runs third. Fourth, number five, if only, Diamantes further back, and then mark my card. Tote favourite, the winner, number two. Further back was Path to Glory, who opened up at favourite at one stage, he ended up paying 5.20. But the winner sneaks throughout the rail, just waited for that split to open. And Lala came from the back of the field and ran up nicely to Neptune's Reign, although they raced wide apart. But then Neptune's Reign starts to drift towards Lala, and that gives her the encouragement to go on and score. So Neptune's Reign, the winner, they still race as 9 and 10, back to the studio. Well, we've seen these colours in uh, the previous races and things haven't gone according to plan, but uh, Duncan uh, did mention that uh, of all his runners on this morning's show, he thought that this could be his best, Neptune's reign, and uh, the three-year-old filly, uh, she was spot on today and she's really loved the extra distance as well. Firstly, Duncan, uh, yeah, nice to get on the board because uh, uh, it, it was that turning out to be that type of day, wasn't it? It's getting uh, very frustrating, these. Uh... Look, I did think this was my best runner today. I know she's a good filly. What was against her was carrying top weight, but uh, she proved that she was good enough. I think she's decent. She'll go on from this. Now, a couple of the runners ran below expectations today. Uh, Dawn Calling pulled up a bit fatigued after the race. I was just a bit concerned she may have a bit of heat stress today. Mm. And then Queen's Plain, I think, personally, I think she's come out the uh, maidens with a very high merit rating. Sure. She, she didn't run a bad race. I think the white quarter out at the end of the day. Well, things would certainly change at the back end of the race. You've got Byline and Dragida coming up. Yes, even uh, Royce Katrina's got a chance. But uh, we'll be holding thumbs and let's hope it keeps on going, getting better. Well, give our best to Mr. McLean and uh, nice to have you on the board, Duncan. Well done. Great. If I could just say well done to Dave. Thanks for his support. And uh, maybe some of the bad runs make us try harder. But uh, this filly will go on from this, like I said. And thanks to our sponsors winning form. Well done, Duncan. Thank you. Well, let's get the captain in, and that's the captain for his team tomorrow, and he's been having a quiet day thus far, but uh, you got one on the board, and on paper, she, she, she possibly looked like your best. Yeah, she did look like my best today, but the way my day has gone, I thought, yes, I was suicidal. I, think. <laughs> I don't know who was worse, me or Duncan. Uh, but anyway, you know, I got a lovely position, and she got there pretty quickly, and then she, she, she looked around a little bit for company, and then she hung out for... 
to with to, to get a bit of company and oh, she won a very good race i think she, she's above average obviously well uh, to put a lid on it uh, from your side uh, you're back now to Kao Ting. And we mentioned, which I chatted briefly with Gavin, you know, with the launch yesterday with the other jockeys. And how's the mood in your camp? Are you the man that's steering the ship? Well, firstly, I tipped him a, a winner. Arsenal, Tottenham. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Arsenal 2-0. <two>, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, the first, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. But anyway, we're looking forward to tomorrow. I think it's a lot of fun. And it's, it's good for the spectators to have uh, jockeys from around the world, which they, I'm sure they watch on, on telly. And uh, they can now see them racing against at, at home. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. It looks like I've got two good rides. And the other three I can run faster than them. But <laughs> let's hope I can get those two back home. Well, it's commitment from yourself and Gavin and to the boys that are riding in Cape Town today. We wish you safe travels back and all the best of, for tomorrow, Bonji. Yeah, no, no, we've got a lovely team, uh, a couple of the older guys in there and a couple of the youngsters coming through. So, yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be good fun. Well, lead your team well. We'll be watching closely tomorrow. Yeah, thanks very much and thank you to Duncan. I appreciate all, all the support and, uh, and hope, um, I'm lucky I got one home. Or else maybe I was out. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Neptune's reign has come to, to win 2, 1, 7 and 5. Uh, that's the way they cross the line, race number 8. <laughs>